What's up, YouTube? So, I'm only gonna be going over um, the real like uh, hexacopter that they just came out with. Uh, but just some stuff to show. Gonna make it in the build with uh, this F7 from uh, Maytech. And I'm gonna use 1.3 gigahertz VTX. Try that out, see uh, how far I can go. And I'm gonna use Crossfire also. So I got the receiver here too. I'm going to have to mess with that and make it work my garbage. Alright. Let's get to the good stuff. The actual frame. It's already open. Alright, so this is my first time like going through all of this. So let's check the stiffness of iron. Oh, yeah, they're really good. I need to clean the carbon fiber like always. I don't. I'm not a fan of this design. I per personally like the V-shaped one because this design it always breaks there. And for some reason, two of them uh, have that weird uh, rectangle, rectangular cut off. Some of them are like this. this, that's weird. And then uh, two of them are normal. So we got a, I don't know, I think this might be a base plate, I'm not sure. This is a top plate. It looks like it might be two millimeters. Let me check. Yeah, two millimeters. And uh, this uh, base plate is two millimeters. And then there's this bottom base plate, I think. And uh, it's also two millimeters. Yeah, no instructions on how to build this. I might have a hard time doing this. And then we have the camera mounts. They look fairly decent so far. So yeah, that's basically it. Other than uh, some screws. And uh, I like them in red. The and there's some weird type of spacers in there. comes with this pad thing, I don't know what that's for, but it's pretty shitty, it's just foam, maybe it's just for your battery or something, and then it also came with uh, this shitty ass strap, which I'm never going to use, alright so I'm going to build it and then come back to you guys and show you the weight and stuff. Sometimes I really wonder if the people that actually build these frames actually even fly because look at the thickness of that hole but these are the four holes that uh, mount the FC and look at that this is normal size screw that you know we normally use and it's just so damn big like that hole is way too big so like when I put the lock nuts in I mean the only thing that's going to be holding it is like the holes in this arm and like these aren't exact so like the arm could flop around and stuff the middle arm can flop around so that's why I think these people don't even fly anyways uh, so far that's been my only gripe other than the fact that it came with no instructions alright so with the screws that they give you there's not enough long enough ones for you to put your FC on they just expect you to put this there that lock nut there and that's it and I've tried you need the really long ones for these and this one and then you're just left with this other long one which is the same one that I'm using there 
This one's not really the long ones that are put in here. Well, this one's the one that's in here, but the one that's in here, 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 here are, is much, much longer because there's another base plate there. So yeah, if you plan on buying this frame, make sure you have your own screw set. Don't be a noob. I have my own screw set, so I don't mind, but you know, it's kind of stupid when a manufacturer comes out with the frame and uh, they don't include screws that will hold your FC. This is why I say these people do not fly. They just make frames. And that's not good because if you don't fly and you just make frames, you you really don't know what you're doing. You're just copying people and stuff and trying to see what you can do and see if people like it. Alright, uh, so I'm going to put the top plate on and uh, then I'll show it to you guys and we'll wait. Alright, so I finished building it. Let's see how much it weighs. So around 120. That's pretty respectable. Uh, and those two extra screws, I don't see how there's like nothing I missed. There really isn't anything I missed. So, two extra screws. I guess they are spares, but they probably just threw them in randomly. Yeah, and uh, so I was flexing it, and there's a little bit of flex. Let's see if I could get it. There is flex in this frame. So if you have a crash, oh, it's breaking. Definitely will break. You have a pretty hard crash, especially hexacopters. They weigh more than quadcopters. Extra two motors. The motor is basically most of the weight of your quad, along with the battery. So you have 1.5 times the motors and then the battery. I'd imagine you'd make it 1.5 times also, so it would weigh 1.5 times. And so yeah, I, I like I like this frame, but I don't like that it's so easy to break. If I wanted to, I could break this. But I like hexes. But real like seriously, I prefer it to be a little bit heavier, more sturdier than to be lightweight and less sturdier. Because if I if I don't fly like normal, yeah, I could fly this and uh, not break it but if I freestyle with this I'm gonna break it for sure so I'm just gonna keep this for cruising I guess uh, capture the scenery long range but no crashes because <laughs> I know the first crash I'll have with this I'll probably break something all right guys and that's the real lag Sphinx 275 I don't think they copied this design and if they did let me know in the comments but I don't think they copied it because when they copy stuff lately they've been putting real one real two real three real four real five I mean come on really might as well just put fake one fake two fake three fake four fake five so yeah it does flex I mean, you could see that it's flexing, and I don't like that. One of these plates is probably going to break. Oh yeah, and I also wanted to show you guys how I actually put it together. Alright, so the ones that have the curvy arms curve that way. Alright, and then the ones that had the missing rectangle on the edge, they go in and they align up with these. And then the the arm the two arms that uh were just normal, they go on the back. So rectangle missing front. I suggest you start with uh, the curved ones in the middle. Then put these, the which are the missing rectangle one on the corner, and then put these. And you also have that plate where, which has screws that go into here here, but they don't provide long enough screws. So. You're going to have to provide your own screws for your FC. Make sure that they're long enough so they could poke out from the nut. Alright, thanks guys.
you know, subscribe if you want. If you like my flying, go ahead and subscribe. If not, just leave a dislike or something. Do whatever you want.